everyone. It's your extraordinary social media consultant, Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Agency. And today I'm going to show you how to create collections that you can share on your website and on your Twitter profile. It's pretty simple, but you need to have TweetDeck installed on your computer. So I already have TweetDeck installed on my computer and you can do a lot of things with TweetDeck. TweetDeck is actually a management tool that you can use for Twitter so that you can follow conversations, Twitter chats, um, you can make customized streams with it. But I'm going to show you specifically how to make collections with this and you cannot do this directly on the Twitter profile. So first, let's go over to Twitter and I'll show you what a collection looks like. This is what a collection looks like and as you can see it's pretty much a listing of tweets. Now you actually have to build this feed manually but like I said it's pretty simple. It shows a description here at the top and then it has all the tweets. Now I have Twitter cards enabled on my website so you can also see some additional information. If you say view, it's going to show you a very large image and then it'll also give you a description here at the bottom. All right, so now let's go back over to TweetDeck. Now we're in TweetDeck and here you'll see that I have a few feeds going here in TweetDeck. And these three feeds where it has Facebook tips, Twitter tips, and Pinterest tips, these are all collections that I've created. Now, I was going to create some more collections, and I said, oh, let me make a video for um, some of my followers and for the channel so that they can see how to make these two because they're very useful and you can share them. So what you're going to do is to go over here where it says add column. We'll add column, and then you will select collections. Once you're in collections, you'll select this little button here that says create collection. So next, you're going to select create collections. Now I'm going to make this collection LinkedIn tips. So you'll change the title. And then you can add a description. All right, that's good for now. Now we'll just hit the, um, the green check button so that we can select and as you can see the feed is empty. Now I'm going to pull this over and in order to move your feeds around you can put them in any order that you want to. You just hover over where it has the number here and the little lines. Click on it and just drag it over to where you want it. Now I want this to be closer to my home feed so I can see what I'm doing. So we'll make that number two. All right. Now in my home feed, I am going to pull out some LinkedIn postings that I did. And you're going to drag and drop them over. So if you click over, you'll see your options. When you hover over, your options will be displayed for each tweet. And here where it has to cross, that's where you'll be able to drag over your postings. So let's drag this posting over to LinkedIn. And I have a couple of others. And you just hover over it, click on it, and drag. And here's another one I like to put in for LinkedIn. Hover over LinkedIn. I had quite a few in a row because I was doing some postings. These are actually postings from Pinterest and I wanted to share them with my following. And now you can see the feed populates. Uh, and here we have again Pinterest and I have Twitter tips. Now you don't have to just put your own post in here you can actually add other people's postings to your collections right now I just have mines in here but as my feed grows I'll add more to that collection now let's go back over to Twitter alright now we're back in Twitter and again this is one of the collections and if you go to the top you will have the URL that you can share with other people now you can also embed this collection. If you go over here to the left and click on embed, it's going to take you to the area where you can create your collection or collection widget. And you can also find this in your settings under the widget menu. And once you say you want to create a widget, you'll have an option 
of using a widget that shows a user timeline, favorites, list, search, or collections. And here in the collections is where we want to be at this time. So you can configure this so it's customized to your website. Of course, you have to have a WordPress theme that is widgetized so that you can drop this widget in. So here in the collection, you can give it a name again for your widget title, and then you can pick the color, the height that you want, and we'll just skip over all that. Just know that you can customize the colors, and then you would say create. Once you create, it's going to show you a preview and it will give you a code and this is the code that you would drop into your WordPress theme. Now I'm not going to go over that. I'll do another video on how to create a widget using your collections but that's how you do it. But I want to show you one more thing. Okay here back in TweetDeck I want to show you how you can share your collection. So let's go up here where it has LinkedIn and here where it has these two little lines you're going to click on there and in here you're going to select share so let's select share now you can embed your timeline view on Twitter or tweet about this timeline so you can simply just send out a tweet about it but I'm going to say view on twitter.com and here is where you can pick up your URL link for your LinkedIn tips I've made an image specifically for my collection that I can retweet over and over again because it's all about repurposing people. Why reinvent the wheel if you don't have to? You can always use past information to share with your, your followers and your new followers. So let's go back over to Twitter. This is what the tweet looks like and this is um, the collection that I shared for Pinterest. I actually went into Canva.com and I made a nice little image that fit the exact dimensions that Twitter asked for for images that go into the feed and I put I've created a collection of Pinterest tips and this is what it looks like here is the link here and if we select that we're sent again to the feed that has the collection well that's it for today if you have any social media related questions, please leave those in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those on a future video or on a future podcast. Also, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and head over to Smart Office Help where there's even more tips, tools, and resources you can use to grow your networks. Have a great day. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and follow and also to share, I invite you to join the social media conversation. We're over on Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and also Facebook. I'm looking forward to chatting with you. Have a great day.